How y'all doing tonight? All right, so just on a side note, I'm presenting on the open web, and I really, this is important to me because the open web can, if we keep it open, it can continue, you know, events like this, and therefore, you know, make me, can, I can do future presentations, so that's kind of recursive. How many of you, that's kind of a geek term, recursive, know what that means? So, really, your parents probably told you don't use the definition of a word in the definition, that's sometimes okay. Um, so here's some key points I want to go over. Really, the open web is really more about technology. It's not, you know, it's, it's really about people, about community, about connecting with people, and also it's really about you. We all, everyone's been, I mean, a lot of us have interactions with the internet, but they're all on an individual level. We choose what news we want to consume, what, you know, who we want to interact with, what products we want to buy. It's all about, really, individuality. So I'm sure you've all used some of these. Raise the hands if you've ever used any of these. So really the key about these is the, there's really not a lot of restrictions on how you use these, and even more importantly, we can use these and make them better without asking permission. So really that's kind of a, an important thing. Um, so two, some principles I want to go over are the open web should really be um, fair and equal treatment to both users and content on the internet. So let me repeat that. Fair and equal treatment to users and content on the internet. And I think that's kind of a key point. Another key point is these two guys here came up with some of the technology that laid the foundation for what the internet is today. When they designed it, they designed it to be open. Now what does that mean? That means that, that basically the internet doesn't know when data is going from point A to point B. They don't, the internet doesn't know if it's pictures, text, video. It could be a variety of things, but that's the beauty of it is that really it could be used for any idea that anybody can come up with. So that's really important. Um, really, another thing it's about is innovation. I mean, even in my lifetime, there's a lot of things that, you know, even 10 years ago, people would have had struggle with, you know, even con coming up with the idea, and now, things that we just dreamed about are happening even quicker than a lot of us can imagine, but really, because of this openness, there's a lot of that. Um, another key point here is choices. Uh, so many times I tell somebody about something, and they're already overwhelmed. They say, well, I don't want to try that, but that's really the beauty of the internet, is if you don't like a certain product for just about any reason, there's dozens of more choices or hundreds of more choices that you can use. You're not forced to use it in a certain way. And it's really about diversity of choices because we don't, have, even if you don't use it, competition really kind of raises the bar. So it's really important that we have all of these different choices to kind of choose from and, and I think it really kind of makes it better for all of us. Really, the internet is about opportunity. You know, opportunity to play, opportunity to engage, opportunity to work, opportunity to teach people, opportunity to learn. It's really about, um, there's almost unlimited opportunity out there, and that's really exciting. This one, I think, I think is kind of important, and it's really about customer service. Um, essentially, the customer, with the, this kind of openness, the customer is put back in control, but I don't think that's a scary thing. I think it's a thing that both businesses and customers should kind of look at is to bridge the gap, where now a customer can immediately go to a business using the power of the internet and say, you know, I like this product, or I didn't. And it's kind of this new gateway that really puts the customer back in control, and I think businesses should also look at that as a tool to help them, uh, because really it opens up a whole new level of communication. So how many of you have seen these at the airport? And I know you all have thought, just for a few seconds, how, how fast can I run before I just get tackled, you know? Well, the, be the beauty of the internet is that you really can. There is no traditional rules that you have to abide by. You just have to abide by the technical, you know, details, but really there's not a lot of, of, of traditional rules. And it's really about freedom, you know? It's about freedom, you don't, there's no rules that say you can only use Google from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. or you must be this high to ride the YouTube, you know? There's really not a lot of rules like that. So, <laughs> got that one there. Um, the other key point is that really um, users are in control. Really, we're in control. There's no, there's no middleman, there's no bureaucracy or government. We're in control of our content that we put out there. And I think that's really key that people are aware of that, that we can kind of uh, determine how we go. So I, I changed Wikipedia to support all my arguments, so if you don't believe me, just go to Wikipedia. No, really, uh, the really, even though Wikipedia is controversial, it has no doubt been a key tool to you know, provide knowledge on a worldwide basis to everyone. So the future of the open web, really, I see the future as kind of like us. You know, it's kind of an exploration. It's not known. It's not certain where it's going. But because we're in control, we have an influence. We can have, we, just because of the choices, we can determine where we go with the internet. The other key point is that, again, the internet, the future of open web is not certain, meaning that there's laws and legislation always trying to be passed to restrict or prohibit how we use the internet today. And I want people to be aware of this so that we keep this uh, an open internet. So here's some choices, participate and support 
the, the, the products and companies that kind of support those principles of the open web and also stay informed, the mozilla.org slash jumpy is also a great resource to do that. Thank you.